We have to cross this plain to get to the other side of the trench. It looks pretty spooky, but I know we can do it. We just passed a hotel. Can't we stay there for a while? No, Patrick. We have to get to Shell City. We don't have much time left. This place oozes evil. This place oozes evil. Whoa! The stench! Smells like feet. Yeah, it does. It's horrible. Oh, I kind of liked it. If the fog gets any thicker, it's going to be tough to see where we're going. Hi! Huh? Oh, hi. This fog is pretty bad, huh? Yeah. You need a lighthouse to cross this place without getting hopelessly lost. I'm gonna go. Sure. Whatever. Not exactly five star from the look of it. Hello there. Nice place you got here. It is indeed. Oh, indeed it is. Isn't this sort of an odd place for such a swank hotel? What can I tell you? Speculative real estate is a risky business. And I got this place for a song. The land was an old oyster bed. Nobody would touch it. I demand room service. Two Krabby Patties to my room immediately. You don't have a room. Well then, I demand mouth service. Two Krabby Patties to my mouth immediately. How about lip service? I think I could accommodate your gracious and noble personage there, sir. Are you insulting me? Because if you are, you do it better than anyone I've ever met. If that is truth, then my life was not in vain. Well, nice talking to you. Your suavity, your elegant way with words, I shan't soon forget you. Bigger than mine. Well, bigger than I imagine mine would be, if I had one. I'm guessing you usually knock before coming into a person's room. Nah, don't see much point. Nice room, huh? I'm of the opinion that it has a vaguely larcenous motif. You can say that again. And I still won't understand it. Are you all right, ma'am? You seem upset. No, I'm not all right, as a matter of fact. Somebody stole my pearls last night from right out of this very room. And whomever it was left this strange orb in its place. I'm in a state of shock. Pearls, huh? Patrick, what do you think? I think it's a job for Detective SpongeBob and Inspector Storm. Me too. Never fear, madam. We have never lost a case or even taken on a case. In either case, we have a perfect record to be brief. Case. Oh, dear. We will investigate this matter fully. Search every nook and cranny for clues, just in case. Be all over this place like a cheap suit. Case. I, I don't know what to say. Inspector Star, we must keep our eyes peeled. Give everything a long, hard look. If people think we're rude, so be it. If staring will solve this crime, then we shall stare. Case. <laughs> Staircase. May we ask you some questions about the incident? I suppose so. When was the last time you saw your pearls? Last night. I'm not sure what time, but they were on the table next to the lantern. 
I don't know how someone could have gotten in here without me hearing them. Was your door locked last night? Yes. I lock it when I go to sleep. I leave it unlocked otherwise, assuming people will be courteous enough to knock before barging in. Apparently, I was wrong on that count. Thanks. Well, nice talking to you. Yes. A pleasant, mindless break for me as well. Those are strange holes. They look like wood rock, but it's too dark to see down them. If only I had more light. of some pearls. Oh yeah? Nice. So what's it got to do with me? Well, I was hoping I could ask you some questions about it. Mm, fine. Well, it don't take too long. I'm a busy guy. Lots of irons in the fire, you know? Where were you last night? I stayed in. It was kind of stormy last night. Kicked up all sorts of fog over the plains. I didn't want to get caught out there. You didn't leave your room at all? I didn't say that. I said I stayed in. I went to the lobby read a magazine for a while. May have wandered around the halls a bit, but I didn't leave the hotel. Did you see anything or anyone suspicious while you were walking around? Not particularly. The manager was asleep at his desk. Aside from him, I didn't run into anybody. The manager was asleep at his desk? Yeah, snoring quite loudly, in fact. It made it difficult to read. I almost woke him up, but on second thought, realized he's even more annoying when he's awake. Anything else you can think of that might help? Nothing unusual happened last night at all? Well, now that you mention it, I heard quite a bit of noise before I went to sleep, coming from beneath the floorboards. It sounded like something dragging. Dragging sounds? Hmm. That's what I said. Do you know what all these holes in the floor are? I don't know what caused them. But the other day, I saw an oyster pop out of one of them. It must have seen me, because it ducked back inside immediately. I see. Thanks. Well, nice talking to you. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Those are strange holes. They look like wood rot, but it's too dark to see down them. If only I had more light. luck with which I've been graced. Someone fanned me, I may faint. Do you know one of your tenants had some pearls stolen from her? Yes, Victoria Ellen in room one. How could I not know she has made quite a stink about it? May I ask you some questions about the crime? If you must. Where were you on the night of... Yesterday. I was here, at this desk, the same place I am every night and every day. I don't sleep well. Mm -hmm. I see. And did you see anyone suspicious come through the lobby? Let me think. Red came through in the early evening. He stayed in room two. Strange person. But he pays his bills on time, which is more than I can say for Victoria. Mm. Nobody else? Well, um... All right. All right, I confess. I cannot withstand your incisive and brutal questioning. I did it. I took her pearls. Just please, no more of these vicious questions. Really? You did it? No. I was kidding. What are you, some kind of knucklehead mixed spasmatron? Barnacles! Thanks. Well, nice talking to you. Your suavity. Your elegant way with words, I shan't soon forget you. Hi, 
Big Patrick, old buddy. Hey, SpongeBob. What you doing? Dum 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 dum. Right. Well, you seem busy. I'll leave you to your insane mutterings. I think I'm gonna stay out here. Why? I, uh, I, I'm afraid of caves. But you live under a rock. And? Well, I mean, a cave, a rock. Are you saying my house is like a cave? Oh, well, not really. Uh, slightly cave-ish, maybe. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. Okay, okay, have it your way. Wait here, I won't be long. One cannot be lost when one is at home. I am Charles Oscar William Piedmont Augustus Winthorpe, and the world is my backyard. From the Marianas Trench to the Great Barrier Reef, wherever I go, home follows. Are you a superhero? No, I am an explorer. Pretty long introduction for someone who's not a superhero. Did you know your initials are cowpaw? Yes, it is a fact that the baser intellect never fails to point out. And people say I have a silly name. Do they? How interesting. What is this cave? This is the entrance to the Crustacean Caverns, an ancient set of caves that protect the focusing orb. Orb, huh? Yes. Neat. It's more than neat. The focusing orb points out safe passage through the abyssal plains. They're quite impossible to cross without consulting it. Ooh, the abyssal plains. That's where we need to go. Well, in that case, you'll need to get past the corridors of confusion. Corridors of confusion, huh? Yes. And beyond them, you must consult the Pool of Perception. And then finally, the Doors of Deception. Did you make up these names? Possibly, but I assure you, they are most descriptive. Can you possibly lend me your flashlight? Well, I suppose you can borrow it. Now don't break it, it is precious. Use it well. Tell me about the corridors of confusion. They are a series of passages. Each one glows a different color. And in order to pass them, you must enter them in the order that they light up. Sounds kind of silly. Yeah, it is kind of silly now that you mention it. But it's the only way to get to the pool of perception. About the pool of perception. It's a pool deep in the heart of the cavern that, legend has it, tells you your future when you gaze into it. I can tell you your future if you like. I see years of therapy. Hey, I didn't make up the legend. Tell me about the doors of deception. I don't know much about them. I have not as yet had the privilege of studying their legends. I'm sure they are quite dangerous. Good luck with your expedition. I've got to go. Yes, off with you.
better. Say, it looks like there's another room under here. I wonder how I can get there. Maybe the manager knows. Sheer luck with which I've been graced. Someone fan me, I may faint. Well, well, well. We have come to a conclusion from our investigation. Pray tell I'm all ears. Can't wait to hear. There is something living under the hotel that comes in through holes in the floors of your rooms. I think this creature may have taken Mrs. Ellen's pearls. No, it can't be. I knew something like this might happen. Something like what? Well, when I bought the land for this hotel, there was an old oyster bed here. I didn't think it would make a difference, but maybe, just maybe. Oysters, huh? May I have permission to check under the hotel? Oh yes, this is all my fault. Check, check. Well, nice talking to you. Your suavity, your elegant way with words. I shan't soon forget you. It's an oyster bed. These look like Mrs. Ellen's string of pearls. The little guy must have thought they were his. I'd better return them to her. Wow, this little guy sure has collected a lot of stuff. An oyster came in through the holes in your floor and made off with them. I boxed him on his ears and sent him to bed without supper. He shan't darken your door again. Oh, thank you so very much, young man. These were a gift from my darling first husband, Edward. They mean so much to me. Ask her about the reward. Ask her about the reward. Patrick, that isn't very polite. Oh, sorry. Please ask her about the reward! Please ask her about the reward! Well, you boys certainly deserve a reward. Here, take this orb. I don't need it now that I have my pearls back. Hooray! A reward! of the Crustacean Caverns. Uh, okay. Guess I'd better pay attention. Hmm. 
I must have taken the wrong corridor. Let's try this again. I'll remember the sequence this time. but I'm pretty sure I've got more of it than some old bogey. Who can argue with that logic? Say, you wouldn't by any chance know a way to cross the Abyssal Plains, would you? Actually, I do. The Inner Sanctum lies beyond the doors here. In it is a device that uses sunlight to illuminate a path through the fog of the Abyssal Plains. I am so there! I cannot let you in. The focusing orb has been stolen. Those doors must remain locked until the orb has returned. Focusing orb? Yes, it aims and intensifies the light. The inner sanctum does not function without it. It would be of no use to you. Who stole it? I don't know. Nobody can get to the inner sanctum without passing by me, and nobody did. But if you can find it, I will allow you passage beyond these doors. Say, nice swimming pool. That is not a swimming pool. That is the pool of perception. Looking into its depths gives you a vision of your own future. Is it heated? No. Well then, call it whatever you like. I call it lame. Charming. Look, I got the focusing orb. Go me, go me. Ah, excellent. I will open the doors for you. Beyond them, you will face another puzzle before getting to the inner sanctum. Once you have passed it, place the orb on the pedestal. Then the fog will lift. Great! Thank you, O oh Ancient One. I'm 52. Wow! And I thought only Coral lived that long. Okay, let's give this pool of the future a try. What was that supposed to be? Hey, older person, this thing doesn't seem to be working. What was that supposed to be? Hey, older person, this thing doesn't seem to be working. Or does it? This looks familiar. Welcome to the confounding corridors of Crustacean Caverns, Part 2, The Revenge. Part 1 was way better. Follow the lights, or you will surely be lost. Here we go again. door was the right one. It's some kind of crazy pedestal thing. There's a place for something round on top, but there's nothing in it. Wow, it's like magic! 
magic without the rabbit. Ooh, the light cuts through the fog. We should follow it. Having conquered the trench, SpongeBob and Patrick have a swagger in their step, knowing that the worst is behind them. Unfortunately, they do not realize how true that is, for an assassin is stealthily tracking them. Hired by Plankton to stop their meddling, he has been gaining ground on them steadily. I'll get 